Good morning. It is uh, oh, it's our sail to Pattaya this morning. Beautiful morning. I think uh, the engine started, sun is up at the sky. It is about 20 past six. And then, yeah, we have about a 50 mile sail and uh, we shall uh, get sailing. Nice meeting, babe. Nice meeting. Good morning, everyone. We are just leaving Koh Samet at the moment. This is our very last sail. Although, as you might be able to hear, the engine's in the background. At the moment, it's unfortunately more of a motor sail. But just for the minute, we're enjoying our breakfast smoothie. We're dodging crab pots left, right and centre. We are keeping an eye out for fishing boats, which are everywhere. So there's plenty of action out here this morning. And hopefully, we'll be in Thai by mid-afternoon. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. Oh, that's nice. I've uh, been asleep on the couch for the last two hours. I've not been well. Very beautiful day, lovely conditions. I'm feeling much better. I'm wide awake now. I think Nick's making me a cup of tea, which will be most welcome. And uh, yeah, we've got the sails up completely, but we've also got the engines running, or just, en sorry, one engine running, because uh, the conditions, while lovely, uh, don't really lend themselves to some faster sailing. I think we've got about 10 knots. We have to get back to Pattaya and we need to pack this boat up because we have to leave her again for a couple of weeks, which I'm quite gutted about. Uh, Nick is talking to Sea Wind and there's some outstanding warranty issues that still haven't been addressed. So for example, the solar panels, I'll just show you now. We've got burn marks on our solar panels. They're on almost every solar panel. So that kind of indicates that there's a hot spot there and over time they'll lose efficiency and and we'll have to replace them eventually so that's kind of showing us that they're not there's an issue there don't know why that's happened but it happened on hull three as well we were told um even before it left the factory so <laughs> not sure faulty batch don't know anyway all good i'm looking forward to uh, getting in but for now i think cup of tea is well in order getting a little bit fluky around these parts we're just going through a little channel a very little channel uh, just kind of between the mainland and these islands just south of Pattaya very 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 beautiful part of the world I think of Pattaya as being well what it is which is a pretty I'm gonna say seedy city a really big city bigger than I thought but nothing that would normally attract me as a tourist it's a very popular tourist destination frankly i don't understand why but the ocean marina is south of pataya city it's uh, quite it's about a half an hour in in a car south and it is really lovely beautiful we'll always So as we uh, rounded that corner, we've got about 15 knots on the nose. So just punching into it now. And hopefully, in about 15 minutes time, we'll be all tied up. We're back. We're back in Ocean Marina Pattaya or John Tien. Listen, um, an amazing couple of weeks. I kind of think that we've had so many positive comments on everything that, uh, that you know, that we've said about on our patron group that clearly when we got this boat it was there were a lot of shenanigans going on and i kind of think we were pretty like worn down by the end of the first part this has been an amazing amazing cruise some of those 
bays like the Koh Chang Archipelago like epic if you ever come to Thailand and you want somewhere to go sailing or visit go down to Koh Chang it is actually to me a better experience than the Samui um, kind of Pan Yang thing it's kind of more remote kind of just just more what I would consider to be Thailand so look really really good time we got the boat back and also you know for the two of us without Nikki and Jason two of us coming back like a really nice sail we didn't break anything to we didn't, didn't break anything but now that we're back we've got a couple of things to do there is some work to be done on the boat and actually it's not work that we have created because we bust stuff or that there's warranty issues two things that i think you need to be aware of firstly see when behind the scenes have uh they were never happy with the davit system so the davits on our boat have you can see them like big carbon fiber poles that come out at an like an angle with a single line system to pull through to a winch it is not perfect and you've seen our videos where things drop the clutch drops and they're like okay we need to redesign the whole thing so that is actually a really big project for them to do so our davits are being redesigned uh james and the whole team back at the factory are dealing with that and so we'll have the davits refitted so we'll get a complete new set of davits that's a big thing um what else we've got some other bits to do we need to get some fabric um, made up. And you say fabric, we are, and I think this is probably all fair and well to say to you now, we are heading to the Med. That is that is news, I guess that's news, right? Um, so uh, we have toyed with this, we toyed with this, we toyed with this, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? And we genuinely didn't know. There was discussion about um, how we were gonna get to the Med. There was discussion about if we were going to get to the Med, were we going to sell to Asia, go to Indonesia, go to Australia, head across the Indian Ocean and kind of go through the sewers? I kind of think that's not going to happen now because of everything that's going on. So we talk with Seawind and this is a couple of things. It's kind of like the news that we want to give you. Firstly, we are going to the Med. Our patrons have known about this for a while. We will be heading to the Mediterranean for those of you that you want to ask because of everything that's going on in the world at the moment, we cannot sail that way we cannot get through the you know there's enough shit going on without trying to get ruby rose 2 through the Suez canal uh, you know th that that would make great episodes but not going to happen and honestly i don't think my my aging heart can take the stress so we're shipping and actually the boat is going around the cape because they can't go through Suez. so um so we'll be in the med so in spring in late spring this year early summer we will be in the mediterranean and we have got an amazing thing planned. We've got some amazing stuff planned. There's some kind of like little Easter eggs we haven't told you about yet. We'll definitely be showing um, and doing some patron events in the Southern Med. So either Greece or Turkey in late spring and we will give all our patrons, like the one, all our patrons that came to, to this event, there are so many European patrons and also American patrons that are like, oh, we don't have enough time or it's just too far from the east coast of the United States, even the west coast to Europe, it's an easier hop, skip and a jump. So there'll be some patron events, we're gonna go sailing with some patrons, do some open things. We have lots of things planned, subject to confirmation. So yes, we are shipping to the Med. We're gonna get all the rest of our work done here. And then once that is all done, we will go and meet the boat in late spring, early summer, and then we'll carry on our sailing on Ruby Rose 2. So Ruby Rose 2 season 24 is going to be Mediterranean sailing. So uh, Yasu, Yamas. <laughs> I uh, don't know what that is in Turkish, but I can tell you that it is also ciao and uh, bonjour. Uh, so yes, there'll be a lot of different, um, did, I, did I get all the languages? I think so. I yeah. did it. Oh, hola. Maybe hola. Maybe hola. Oh, oh, oh. What's, um, what's the Portuguese? Either way, we'll be saying thank you and dos cervezas in muchos languages. <laughs> uh, muchos idiomas. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Listen, it has been it has been a ride. It has been a real ride. Like, super excited about the boat, super stressed about the delays, super excited about Nikki and Jason, super, super stressed about the boat, super stressed about everything, super excited about Ko Chang, super stressed about getting the work done, super excited about going to Europe. So I hope you enjoyed these episodes. We genuinely enjoy making them now. It's honestly, now that we kind of like shaken the gremlins out of the boat, touch wood, we're like looking forward to this. So listen, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Thank you to all of you that just write comments down below, apart from those little fuckers that write really nasty comments who just get blocked immediately. But actually, and I say this with, there's no irony, none of my usual, you know, dripping sarcasm. The comments that you put down below of support when we're having a hard time, genuinely, 
drag us through some pretty like bleak oh shit what are we doing so yeah thank you for your comments thank you for your likes thank you for your thumbs up thank you for your subscriptions we'll see you well not in the med we'll eventually see you in the med but for now work on the boat then we need to sail this boat off to getting it shipped have a great day and uh regards and we were as duh uh, Robert Rosa de, de, my Rosa de, I know, I don't know, he's had, had to assist. Ruby Rose, Ruby Rose, de, 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 de. <laughs> non lo sai, no, non lo so, no, ma cos'è? Ruby, Ruby cos'è? La, quella cosa rossa, no? È rossa, no? È la rossa rosa, rosa rosa, do, do. E spagnol? Non lo sai. <laughs> No, no, it's bueno, it's una, it's una, what is red in Spanish? Rosa, rosso, ros, rosa, ros, rosa, ros. You're uh, like the typical Italian who thinks they can speak Spanish, but... I can probably do it in Vietnamese, it's, uh... Hua Mao Do, that's rose, uh, I think that's red flower. Hua Mao Do, don't know Ruby, hi. <laughs> Tụi mình đi mò chào áo bắn à tùy. Ok, we going to Europe bye bye. <laughs> River is true is a bit of a mess and our water maker's packed up. Do you want to tell everyone what's going on? Yeah, our tanks, our water tanks are full of so much shit. The other thing that's packed up is the ice machine. So we go from here and then at some point we'll just turn south. Today is departure day. The wind is still coming up from the south and we're punching into it. It's a little bit less comfortable, but at least we're making our way towards Malaysia. Okay. No, 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 stop. And this is what I was hoping for, sailing the Gulf of Thailand. We have just arrived into Malaysia. So beautiful. What a welcome into this brand new country. So excited.